Hello, in this second video on simple probability, we'll cover a couple more examples with uh, slightly higher numbers. Just to review, simple probability deals with a single event, event being just some action, an outcome being a result of that action. And the definition of probability is the number of successful outcomes to the total number of outcomes, or the ratio of successful to total. So, let's get this definition out of the way. Let's try a, an, an example. What if we were to flip two coins? So we're going to flip two coins. And when we flip two coins, we have several possibilities um, th that may occur. Why don't we uh, draw a table? This is just a simple table here. And on the top, we'll call the top the uh, coin one. So coin one is either going to be um, heads or it's going to be tails. Heads or tails. So on, our, uh, on one flip, it's either going to be heads or it's going to be tails. The other coin will be, let's pick a different color here, the other coin will also be heads or tails. So let's just fill out the, the table here. The pink represents the other coin and the blue represents the, the one coin. So we really have uh, four different possibilities. When we flip these two coins we can either get heads heads, tails heads, heads tails, or tails tails. There are two unique coins and each one can come up either heads or tails. So now let's ask uh, some questions about the situation. What is the probability of getting two heads? And again, this is a simple probability. There, the definition of simple probability is the number of successful outcomes. Well, here we take a look how many of these outcomes are successful. Only this outcome right here has two heads. So there's one successful outcome. And then the question is how many total outcomes are there? There are four total outcomes. So the probability of flipping two heads is one-fourth. What about the probability of getting one head and one tail? And again, take a look. We have heads, 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 tails, tails, heads, tails, tails, but one head and one tail comes up two times, two times out of the four possible outcomes, which reduces to one half, one half probability. You can actually uh, also ask questions like, what's the probability of getting uh, one or more heads? Probability of one or more heads. And here we're going to um, use another color just so we can highlight, highlight what's going on. How about a nice, uh, a nice green color, a pale green? We just want one or more heads. Well, is there one or more heads in this situation? Yes. I'm going to circle that. Is there one or more heads in this situation? Yes. Is there one or more heads? No, there's just two tails. And is there one or more heads? Yes. So the probability of when you flip two coins of getting one or more heads is actually three out outcomes, three successful outcomes over four out of four total outcomes. Okay, why don't we try another situation? What if we were to draw a card out of a deck? We draw a card out of a standard deck. Before we do this, we need to actually figure out what is in a deck. In a standard deck, there are four suits, and each suit has 13 cards. Now what are the four suits? Um, in red, we have a heart, we have a diamond, and in black, I'm not going to draw in black, I'll do it in gray, in gray and uh, we have in black, we have a club, and we have a spade. Alright, so we have four suits, hearts, diamonds, clubs, and spades, and the 13 cards that we have 
um, in each of these are we have an ace, we have the numbered cards 2 through 10, and then we have the face cards jack, queen, and king. All right, so that's a deck of cards. So what's the probability that if we were to draw a card from a deck of cards, what is the probability of drawing a heart? So the definition of probability is successful outcomes over total outcomes. So the probability of drawing a heart, well, there are 13 cards in each suit, which means there are 13 hearts. And a deck of cards, I forgot to mention that 4 times 13 is 52 cards. So there are 13 hearts out of 52 cards. And if you're good with your math, you'll see 52 is divisible by 4. 52 divided by 4 is 13. This fraction reduces to 1 fourth. And that should make some sense. If you have a deck of cards and you pull out a card at random, it's going to be one of those four suits. In fact, you've got a one out of four uh, probability that you'll pick a heart. So this 13 out of 52 should make intuitive sense that it's going to be one fourth. Okay? What is the probability? Let's try another one. What's the probability that you will draw a, say, a face card? Yeah, just a face card. And the face cards are these right here, jack, queen, and king. Probability of drawing a face card. Well, again, we're going to count up the total number of, of, uh, of possibilities, of successful outcomes. Well, there are three face cards in each suit, and there are four suits. So there are 12 face cards out of 52. And again, if we want to reduce this, these are both divisible by 4. And so we have three-thirteenths. You have a three-thirteenths chance of drawing a face card. And let's try another one. What is the probability of drawing a red, say a red seven? Probability of drawing a red seven. Well again, there are 13 cards in each suit. Two of the suits are red. So you could say there's a heart that is seven, a seven of hearts, and you could say a seven of diamonds. So there are really only two successful outcomes out of the 52 decks, or the, I'm sorry, the 52 cards in the deck, which reduces to one, and then half of 52 is 26. So you have a 1 26th chance of drawing a red seven. All right, so here was just another simple example of uh, single event probabilities. In the next video, we'll probably take a look at compound events. See you then.